show the first step of the headlock system from the butterfly guard. So this works great is if uh, we can't hit our drags, it's too keen to it. I'm trying to drag and pulls back, doesn't really work. So now this time I'm gonna hit my drags, but now instead of me coming to his back, I'm gonna go to a two on one grip, okay? So I'm here, I'm gonna drag here, come underneath, and I'm gonna go two on one. And I wanna pin this to my body. The tighter I have this, the less he can posture up. Posture up, see, I'm keeping him stuck to me. What I'm gonna do from here is I'm gonna disengage this hand, and I'm gonna come over the head, bam, locking it here. Once I lock his head down and has his posture broken, I'm gonna go to my top side grip, bam. For those of you that are, that are unfamiliar with my system, my top side grip is where my uh, outside hand is coming to the top side of the one that I'm gonna choke with. So I'm dragging here, around the head, top side grip. Now what I wanna do is instead of arching back, I'm gonna put my foot across his hip, okay? I'm almost at a single leg X. Now I'm gonna lean on his head, so his head starts to rotate under. I'm gonna pull my outside leg past the butterfly to the back and I'm gonna apply it like a crunch position so I can get the strangle. Okay, so I'm gonna do it, show you another angle. Here, wrist uh, to the tricep, pulling through, locking it on my chest. While this is tight, we're coming over the head, top side grip, scooting in, my foot blocks his hip. I'm gonna lay towards his head, and now you guys see I'm in the single leg X. This leg's gonna come out over the back, and apply the strangle by crunching in. One more time. Here, pull here. Around, by staying tight here, okay? If I feel like there's any space, I scoot in, foot goes on the hip right here. Laying on the head, towards the side of the choke, disengaging, and applying the strangle. That's the guillotine from the butterfly.